So guys, we are at the Bushcraft Show 2013. Um, just been across to see Foxy, Funky Prepper. Um, Barking Badger was there. So was um, Mike Cuff was there. Sandy was there. Everyone basically. <laughs> seen Billy and Brian Woodsman's Bushcraft. I've seen Josh as well. Both of them two from Expert Survival. Um, so it's been really, really good to now. Um, took a bit of stick that I'm not staying tonight, um, but whatever, it's all part of the fun. I'm sure um, Funky took a little bit of stick about his leg as well, but yeah, whatever. So we're just cooking some um, some dinner now, I've just put my hammer cup. So after this, once I'm, once I'm done here, I'm going to go around the show more, um, and then we'll hook up with um, Billy and such later as well. So see you in a bit. So this is where Camp Basil lads are staying. Don't know where they've gone to now, like. But this is where they're staying. So Sandy and everyone around here. Um, yeah, lightweight bushcraft here. So quality stuff sort of working prototype that we've made but I suppose it's like about, about a day I suppose about a day I mean it's different to a normal normal wooden handled axe. Oh, it? too so, right, man. Yeah, yeah. Far. It's a sort of crossover from like the tactical hawks yep. that are quite popular in the states at the moment. Yep. I'm not really into breaking into cars and things like that, but I'm into wood carving. So that's my sort of play on a yeah. tactical hawk that's for my needs, which is yeah. carving. You know, woodwork. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What about you? Your knives, your bushcraft style knives. Yeah, yeah that, that, I suppose each one of those, if you add up the time for making the blades, the handles. Sheep, I suppose you're looking at a day and a half, a couple of days for those as well, really, you know? Yeah. It's one of those things, is there's a labour of love. There's a yeah, lot, it's a lot taking of, your time. A lot of time going into it, really. Yeah. But, uh, no, it's good fun. I love doing it, you know? Yeah, I suppose if you've got a job that you love, then that's there you go. Job, isn't it? Yeah, that's it.
fat notch out and because the trail mix that I use is flat. Um, it's helpful to have a fairly carefully notched out one. The photo I can just gouge out a little bit of a notch in the old cow. With this I need to sort of shape it a little bit more. So very care. Yeah, we haven't got to go very right. And the general, what I want to do is make sure this base is secure. So I'm going to put on that. I'm trying to use as much of the palms as I can. And typically, I go from the base of the palm to sort of up to halfway along my fingers. Don't try it. I don't find it helpful to try and do anymore. And uh, at the moment, I'm just going to be bedding in the drill. And the thing is, I'm just going to go down and then when I come low down come back up again without losing control moisture actually and um okay that's all I need to do at this stage so um what I'm actually going to be doing the first few down, I'm just waiting to feel for that efficient tackiness and also forming the pieces up. And then when it actually comes to sort of like an efficient level where I can feel the, the tackiness, I will put some effort in. The first bit of smoke is starting to rise, so the next one down, I'm going to put my effort in. Yeah. Hey. 